On today's video, I want to talk to you guys about something that happened to me recently. It's very serious in the aquarium hobby, and I really didn't know much about it. I've heard it before, uh, but I really wasn't familiar on this specific topic. You know by the thumbnail, you know by the title. Today, I want to talk to you guys about Dropsy. Before we get into today's video, if you do like aquariums and you do follow people on YouTube with aquariums, be sure to subscribe so you can tune into more of this content here on my channel. Check out some other videos. You might find something you might like. If one of your fish has dropsy and you do have any questions, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below so I can maybe help you out. What dropsy is, is when your fish's body fills with fluids and causes organ failure inside of your fish's body. Uh, it is a very slow disease that can really take over the fish's body and is extremely hard to treat. Uh, in my last video, I did say that dropsy was the kiss of death. Uh, dropsy is a type of disease. It's basically the kiss of death. See, what did I tell you? The reason why I'm saying this is because the wolf fish that I recently just purchased online actually got dropsy. Uh, so I needed to come up with a solution to fix this wolf fish. I love this wolfish. It probably is one of my top three. I don't want to get in trouble because I know everyone here loves George and everybody loves Steve the Stingray. Uh, but this wolfish is probably in my top three of my most favorite fish. So I did not want to see him die. The reason why dropsy is the kiss of death is because typically when you do find out about it, it's typically too late. Uh, dropsy, the actual swelling of the fish's stomach, isn't exactly a disease. It's a symptom of another disease. What causes dropsy? Why does this happen? There's many different reasons why. Uh, most people, most things you'll read online will say that dropsy is caused by a bacteria. A bacteria that lives inside of your tank that's sometimes always there. Some people say that it's something that's, you know, foreign and doesn't typically always live in tanks, but it somehow got brought in there. Now, luckily I caught this super early with my wolfish. Uh, the reason why I caught it was because of the pine coning that the stomach gets. Uh, typically when your fish gets dropsy, the stomach will have a little bit of pine coning first. Also, if you remember from my first video of my wolfish, the actual unboxing of the wolfish, putting it into the tank, you'll remember the fish was a little bit skinny. It's much heavier now that I have it. Um, he's definitely put on a lot of weight. Um, so it was kind of hard for me to notice the dropsy, but the pine coning is really what made me start seeing it. I did get him shipped to me though, which might be one of the causes of dropsy. You see, dropsy can be caused by shipping fish, it can be caused by aggressive fish, having your water parameters off, so that is your ammonia, your nitrite, and your nitrate. One of those can be sky high through the roof. You could have a pH drop, you could have parasites inside the fish. It actually could be caused by nothing at all. Sometimes if the fish's genetics aren't correct, um, the fish could just get dropsy because of bad genetics. Um, and just gets organ failure and dies. There's nothing you can really do from it. Regardless of the reason why your fish has dropsy, you have to treat it. You have to treat it. Dropsy itself is not contagious because, again, it's a symptom. But if one fish is displaying dropsy, there is a pretty good chance that other fish will too. So it's recommended that you remove this fish and put him into his own tank. Now, this wolf fish is already in his own tank, so I don't need to put him into any other type of system. He is quarantining right now in a 10 gallon tank and will be moved into a larger tank as he grows out. He's a very aggressive fish, so he can't really get, take many tank mates but we will test that out soon. Because I love this wolfish so much, I know I needed to treat it. So I, what did I do? I did my research. And my research told me to get some CCAM products. I do love CCAM products. This is not sponsored by any means. I personally just trust the product and think it typically works. They're a really great brand. Uh, so one of the products I got was Canaplex and the other product I got was Focus. Uh, Canaplex treats uh, Dropsy, Popeye, uh, tail rot, fin rot, and septicemia. So it's a bacterial, uh, antibacterial. And a fun fact, all CCAM products actually, they swear by it saying that it will not affect your biological uh, media inside of your tank. So that 
even though it's an antibacterial, uh, we have bacteria living inside of our filters, this won't kill off anything. So it's a pretty good product. And the focus is just for binding. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description below to purchase both of these items. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to put Canaplex uh, into a little container. So you have to get some you know, type of container to mix everything. You wanna scoop out a little bit of tank water into a little tiny container, uh, put food in there. So after the food and the tank water are in there, and you don't need a lot of tank water, just a little bit. You wanna put the Canaplex in, uh, you want to put uh, one scoop in for every little bit of food. And to be honest with you, you can read the instructions on the back. I just put a you know typical amount of food I put in there with a scoop of Canaplex. And what's cool about Canaplex is that you can actually treat the food and also the water. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that food, put it all inside of there, use your best judgment for food, don't feed too much, just enough so they can get medication. So what I did was I put one scoop of the Canaplex and one scoop of the Focus. I did this for three days straight and you're gonna wanna give that fish a break. I gave him a break for maybe about one to two days, did a water change and he really didn't seem too affected. Sometimes your fish won't eat. And if your fish doesn't eat, obviously medicated foods won't do it. You have to catch it early. I didn't really see extremely good progress, but I definitely saw him stop. The stomach wasn't getting much bigger. So what I did was I started treating the food and the water. I said, if I'm gonna treat this fish, I wanna do a little bit more. So what I did was I treated the food exactly the same way, but for the next three days, I also treated the water. You're gonna wanna put one scoop of Canaplex for every five gallons. So he's in a 10 gallon tank right now. So I put one scoop of Canaplex inside the food and two scoops inside the tank. You do not need to put the focus inside the tank. It's just to bind the food with this. If you use just Canaplex, it won't attach to the food and you're basically just treating the tank water. And now in the beginning of this video, I did say that Dropsy is the kiss of death. And it's more so the kiss of death if you don't do anything. If you catch it early, your fish could heal. Now. I'm not saying that it's a lost cause and I'm not saying your fish is going to heal, but do best by the fish. Some things that I read online said that you should euthanize the fish automatically after seeing it have dropsy because it's so unlikely it'll make it. Do not do that. We are not veterinarians. It, we don't know. We can't operate and look inside this fish to find out, but we can treat the fish and see, and, and for the best case scenario. If you do two to three rounds of treatment and you see the fish keep getting worse and worse and you wanna euthanize it, go ahead, humanely euthanize it. It probably is too far gone. But at least give the fish some hope. Hope for yourself and see if this treatment will actually work. Like I said, I love my wolf fish, so I did whatever I possibly could to make sure that this wolf fish was gonna live. I'm happy that I was able to treat the dropsy for my wolf fish I do, you know, I'm very happy that I actually had this experience because it was a great experience uh, because it has a happy ending um, and I also learned from it. Um, and I do hope that I can help some people who are watching this video. If you do ever come across Dropsy or you, you know, came across me in a Google search and here we are today. Uh, but if you did like this video, be sure to subscribe, check out some of the other content here on my channel, ding that notification bell if you already subscribed. But most importantly, don't forget to fish on.